Hello, my name is Evelyn Rios and I'm a fourth year biomedical engineering student. The title of my project is Fully Reduced HMGB1 as a Mediator to Improve Oral Osteointegration in Diabetic Mice. A dental implant is typically made from titanium with a screw shape that is inserted into the jawbone to support an artificial tooth crown. The stability of a dental implant depends on suitable bone healing surrounding the titanium, a process known as osteointegration, as we can see in the first picture. However, in the second picture, it is estimated that about 5-10% to of dental implants will fail due to different reasons such as diabetes interfering with the bone formation. <clears throat> in fact, high blood sugar levels have a detrimental effect on bone cell differentiation and mineralization, which are critical events for implant osteointegration. Recently, it has been demonstrated that the protein HMGB1, specifically the fully reduced isoform, accelerates healing in several types of tissues like bone, muscle, and blood. HMGB1 is a molecule we have inside our cells and is released after an injury. This molecule can recruit stem cells, induce their proliferation, and accelerate bone mineralization. The local injection of synthetic HMGB1 can lead to the same beneficial outcomes in fractured healing in healthy mice. Thus, the goal of our study is to evaluate the regenerative potential of fully reduced HMGB1 on oral osteointegration under in vivo diabetic conditions. To achieve this goal, we first need to establish a diabetic mouse model and investigate the impact of hyperglycemia on osteointegration. Finally, we evaluate the impact of HMGB1 injection on osteointegration in diabetic and non-diabetic mice. For this project, we used 12 diabetic and 12 non-diabetic mice. We induced diabetes by administering a high-fat diet for six weeks, followed by two consecutive injections of streptozotizin. We can see in the top right figure a high blood glucose level in diabetic mice after the second injection of streptozotizin. Then, non-diabetic and diabetic groups were subjected to a tooth extraction and titanium screw placement in the dental socket, as we can see in figure 2. The implant bed was injected with either PBS or as a control or HMGB1 with either non-diabetic or diabetic mice. Then, the implant was placed and allowed to osteointegrate for 21 days. At day 21, mice were euthanized for sample collection, maxillary bones, and pancreas. The pancreas samples were evaluated by H&E, and maxillary samples were evaluated by qualitative and quantitative micro-CT. First, we can take a look at the pancreas in figure 5, confirming that the streptozoidism was effective in causing degeneration of beta cells in diabetic mice. Now considering osteointegration in figure 4 shows that the non-diabetic mice, either the control or HMGB1, present complete mucosa healing and no signs of inflammation. On the other hand, diabetic control mice presented a decreased healing. Interestingly, a suitable healing was observed in diabetic mice treated with HMGB1. Finally, in figure 6, the percentage of bone-to-implant contact is significantly decreased um, is significant decrease in diabetic control compared to the diabetic HMGB1 group. We can also confirm these findings in the qualitative, uh, qualitative micro-CT images in the figure 7. In conclusion, diabetes leads to incomplete healing and osteointegration in the mice models, while HMGB1 was able to increase the chances for successful osteointegration in these conditions. In our future work, we aim to do histological staining and use molecular markers to involve the bone differentiation to better understand the impact of diabetes on osteointegration and therapeutic actions of HMGB1 in these challenging conditions. I want to thank all the collaborators, funding sources, and finally thank you for your attention.